because I, I'm interested in the label having a very sort of eclectic feel, like a pointedly eclectic feel to it, where I can do things like, you know, the song with Gwillem, then we might jump to doing something totally different to that that isn't even necessarily like music as such. But um, really kind of trying to focus on each release one, one at a time and really build a kind of world around each one. I had a solo show at White Cube last year in Bermondsey and um, I wanted a, a kind of constantly present performance to be taking place. So basically the performance was the devising of a performance and um, you know that process entailed like you know, me and Gwillem and um, the other musicians, the other dancers sometimes just standing around and chatting to each other or sometimes being in the midst of like a full-blown dramatic sequence or sometimes sort of transitioning between those two poles. Um, but it was all being devised live, so Gwillem was often sat at his, his piano like improvising. There was a sequence in that where there was a drone happening and um, I started trying various different like chord movements over the top of it and over the course of what three or four hours, say, of like doing this one bit <laughs> or something, um, the chords kind of became what then went on to be the chords in in the song "Muscle." Still I mean, it connects to how we've approached the video as well because um, the video features a dancer who I've worked with a lot and who's featured in a lot of the performance that Gwillem and I've worked on called Fernanda Munoz Newsom and she was one of the dancers in the the Infinite Disparity, the the performance at White Cube. And um, yeah, she's become sort of the protagonist of the music video element of this release. Because I was quite interested in shifting the the kind of aesthetic that accompanies the release away from a kind of literal interpretation of the song and having it be a kind of uh, like mysterious narrative unto itself that would have perhaps a similar kind of feeling like I, and I mean that in a very abstract way to the song but not uh, like a literal interpretation of that, the narrative within it. There's a lot that I felt a sort of kinship to in the song in relation to my performances, it's true. And, and um, you know, I, I like to think a lot about uh, desire and attraction and um, sexuality and, uh, and, and like where um, a sense of like power or control might lie within a relationship. I think that that is something that's touched upon within within the song. You know, your first thought of muscle is like, you know, the outer muscles and in terms of the way people present their body, which can sometimes be in like a sexual way or whatever, but then in a way it's quite a nice idea that the sort of main muscle is like your heart. <laughs> 